what is going on crypto family this is your boy random arts coming with a quick video and on this video guys we're going to be talking about msi versus roaring kitty crypto and it's not really a versus just a quick comparison looking at both projects now before i dive too deeply into it do me a huge favor hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i definitely love to hear you guys thoughts and opinion about the crypto but taking a quick look though at the overall global crypto market down 1.73 percent you have bitcoin roughly at 54.9 just it was just at 55 but now we're seeing some downward pressure so if i click onto it just show you guys the daily chart of how it's looking like bitcoin it is down 2.43 percent and again it's bouncing between that 49 uh sorry 50 uh 54 and 55 so as you see it was approaching 57 and all of a sudden we started giving back some of those uh some some of those gains but again we are still 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 a few months away from officially being at that six month mark and to be honest being at six months it's going to be october so historically speaking the market does perform very very well in the month of october but we could still see huge moves especially on bitcoin towards the end of the month um, i'm still thinking we're going to have a nice little bounce back on bitcoin uh for the end of the month now if we take a quick look guys at msi now this is going to be just very surface level i'm not even doing anything in depth as far as looking and in, into them but one thing that i can say that i've just been seeing circulating around my timeline on x is the fact that they are constantly getting listed on different exchanges now the the, the bad part is the uh the timing just like us when they're getting listed on some of these exchanges unfortunately it is a downturn in the market so they haven't really fully seen the big pop now they've been listed on top exchanges i'm talking about top 20 exchanges you have gate.io mexc bing x bitmark poloniex like these are top 20 like all of these are top 20 um exchanges and even with that a down market you know again with the down market it is going to have selling pressure or people are not going to be as engaged to be able to buy assets so it is what it is but i believe once things start to flip around for msi as far as with the market this should be able to go parabolic because i remember seeing this initially seeing this right around like a two maybe like a two million uh two million uh, dollar market cap and from there it actually did a 10x it got all the way up to like, I want to say like $30 million market cap with some of these listings. Um, and unfortunately, like I mentioned, market started turning around. It did stifle the momentum. So currently right now, they are listed on what, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six different exchanges. That's pretty impressive, especially for a newer project. Um, and again, I really don't know much about it, but from the surface level, I think this is pretty good especially for a meme token being listed on these exchanges now taking a quick look though at roaring kitty let me get that pulled up for you so if we take a quick look at roaring kitty um let me do this instead let me just do a duplicate and i'll pull it up because that way i can go back and forth between the two um so i can show you guys at least some of the parallels that at least that i'm that i'm seeing on my end so with roar uh volume for roar is a lot lower uh, we're looking at 77,000 uh, 77, uh, in volume. Why are you seeing this at 1.2 million? Now, the 1.2 million, this is across these exchanges right here. So currently right now, we only have two active exchanges, which we're planning on getting two more. Now, the last listing that uh, we're getting on Monday, it is a new exchange, so I'm not expecting like huge volume from that exchange due to the fact that with new exchange, if they don't have a customer base, then they're not going to be that much, you know, volume that's going to be contributing to it. But with the ones that we currently have right now, as you could see, already between these two exchanges, we're getting about what 70,000 uh, plus the 7,000 right now on Uniswap. Uniswap actually just as of late has been like the least, but typically you do see. When it comes to decentralized exchanges, they are typically uh, providing you with less volume. So we are set to be launched on uh, LA token on 
the 9th, which is two days away. Hopefully we see a reversal in the market. If that happens, then we should probably start to see some climb. Now, if it is a decreasing market with Bitcoin going down, then I wouldn't be expecting anything from that. And again, this is going to be hopefully this is not the third listing in a row that we are listing on a downward market because both times, like I mentioned before, with Biconomy, this was when uh, the whole Mt. Gox scare came in. Like literally the day that we got listed on uh, Biconomy was the day that the news as far as Mt. Gox with the repayment and Bitcoin went from like 70 and just started dropping from there. Then with the whole Wix, the uh, German government, the day of when we got listed on Wix, that was the day that the market was crashing as well too. So I'm just hoping that for uh, for LA token, no major news is taking place. So that way we could finally see a positive reaction due to the listings. Now, taking a quick look though at the um, overall chart, this is still a very bullish chart because as you can see, you have the up move followed by down, up, down, then we had this nice parabolic move and now we're seeing nice consolidation um, for this token as more and more people start to come in, as, especially as we get more and more listings as well too. The volume is going to increase, so it is going to cause a higher floor. And this is probably the main reason when you take a look at Roy and Kitty versus all the different other Roy and Kitties, our volume is staying constant due to the fact that we have those uh, multiple listings where the other exchanges, I mean, the other Roaring Kitty only has decentralized and decentralized uh, pairs tend to see less volume. So we have something to counteract that, but we are still looking good on the chart. Uh, been bouncing off of this little support area, came back here. And now I'm assuming if we do see nice market, you know, good market uh, condition, we should start to probably start testing all time high. And plus at the end of the month, we are going to be on Shibarium as well, barring no the more delays from weeks. So if that happens too, that's going to be separate liquidity, which is going to generate more volume on that side as well too. So the more and more volume, because think about it from this point, it's all volume. You know, the more volume that an asset get, the higher it's going to go. And the more consistent that it could get for um, for volume, the stable is going to be. So this is why, again, for Roaring Kitty, seeing 77, that's been pretty much our average, about 77, 80,000 uh, worth of volume, hence why our price is being very stable. So as we add more listings and more liquidity pools from different places, we are going to see increase in volume. With the increase of volume, it is going to also increase the price. So really guys that is all that i have for you today plenty of stuff in the pipeline um that's happening right now with Roy and kitty still accumulating more bone um and again guys if you have not purchased your nft as of yet make sure you go out you purchase the nft so that way we could make sure we do what we need to do to be able to get more listings not only more listing but also having a big fat liquidity pool for Shibarium, because with the liquidity pool, this is another thing that you guys have to also realize. With the liquidity pool, this is going to require us going to the open market to be able to buy bone. So there's benefits of purchasing these NFTs because the more NFT that you purchase, or if everyone just do their part just by purchasing at least one NFT that's a part of Roaring Kitty, this is going to directly fund uh, us having to go to the open market and doing big buy orders on roaring kitty just to be able to feed the liquidity and that's going to be more tokens being taken out of the circulating supply but really guys that is all that i have for you today leave a like leave a comment random arts guy signing off Peace.